when uh, Southern Africa is seen as a gateway to the rest of Africa and beyond, and corporates are leading the drive towards internationalization, but they've got to worry about pervasive risks in managing cash flow, investments, and just broader issues that are going to uh, affect the earning and the making of money. Talking to us about Treasury Risk and Cash Management in Southern Africa is Peter Green, Senior Eurofinance Tutor and Director of the TransactionBanking.com in the UK. So, Peter, thanks for your time. Obviously, there's this Eurofinance conference currently underway. What's the general tone? What's the sentiment that's coming out of there? Yeah. I, I was pleasantly surprised. So it's the sixth conference that we've held, and I think the best one yeah. in terms of the quality of discussion and debate. Uh, but the move was really positive. We, we polled the audience for their reaction, their vote, um, and it was a 70% optimism, um, so 30% pessimism. Um, but the underlying message was we're cautiously optimistic. Um, I get a sense, without being too dramatic, but South Africa's at this tipping point that there are a lot of good things that are in right. there. Uh, you know, it's a low debt overhang, yeah. um, got good expanding markets on the south-south mm. um, trade side, but there's some really big red flags out there that could tip it the other way. Okay, red flags? Red flags, um, uh, some of the... Uh, economic activity we do with other regions. Um, so we had a lot of discussion on Europe, and I think the main summary there was, Europe is bad news, the question is just how bad it's going to and be. vulnerability. But where's the contagion going to come from? Um, and the good news is the South African uh, financial system is good, is stable. Mm -hmm. The con financial contagion, the view was no, mm -hmm. it's going to be economic. Other issues yeah. that were red flags? Um, the biggest question, the biggest concern the audience had was uh, corruption. Uh, we asked, what was your top priority? If you could solve it, uh, what would make a difference to your business? And I've never seen an answer as strong when we ask it, you know, just one, and it was 53% said corruption was their top issue. Mm -hmm. And the next quarter, about 23%, was creating a very pro-business environment. Mm -hmm. um, so some of the regulations, some of the labor controls, some of the infrastructure is, is there a perception that South Africa is starting to decline on the transparency index, that it is not as liberal, as open, as well-governed an economy as it once was? I th there's a, um, the mood was it could slip back. Um, and a very fervent hope that it doesn't mm. because that is probably going to be the biggest switch off for uh, continued investment. Mm. I think the corporates have money to invest. At the moment, the challenge is where do I put the money? Mm. So during the troubled times, they've been building up their war chest and they have the money yeah. to invest. They just won't do it if, in uncertain times. Okay, we are in uncertain times, broadly speaking, beyond the politics and it's the volatility internationally mm -hmm. and it's where you're going to get yield. Is there a sense that South Africa and Africa is offering good yields and where do people want to put their money? Yeah, I think there's, there's opportunity in terms of business expansion um, and that's really the focus here. Um, corporates invest safely. Mm -hmm. They're not looking for a high risk, high return in terms of any spare cash they have. Um, they build up cash, the buffers, to see them through the, the tough times. Mm -hmm. um, they've done that. Um, now what do I invest in? And they're, they're stuck with choices. Do I return it to the shareholders yeah. or do I invest in my business? I'd love to invest in my business, but I'm not yeah. going to do it unless you can give me certainty. Obviously, as we look to create jobs, as we look to expand the economy, we're going to see a lot of mergers and acquisitions. Mm -hmm. Some would argue we shouldn't be seeing consolidation. We should be seeing new industries fledgling. We should be seeing yep. companies starting new businesses. What are the trends and how can people use their money wisely? Yeah. We were talking to mainly large corporates, multinationals, um, but even there the sentiment was remarkably strong on it's going to be a small business driven growth. We need to create the appropriate labor laws mm -hmm. to encourage that small business to grow. Mm -hmm. And if the small business is successful, the bigger businesses are going to be successful. Okay, we're almost running out of time. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there are issues like currency risk, infrastructure mm -hmm. as an impediment when you're doing business in Africa. A lot of uh, companies have incurred losses and provisioning mm -hmm. because of volatile currencies. What impact does that have yeah. on the trade? Um, corporate treasurers will risk mitigate. Um, but probably the biggest um, message on FX, foreign exchange, was there seems to be a public sentiment of a weakening brand is going to be good. Uh, we did a vote and it was 70% or so mm -hmm. said that. 
we then had a debate on it and we swung completely the other way around. A weakening rand is not going to be good for the South African economy, was the verdict of the audience, based on the input okay. from e the economists who okay. gave their presentation.